In 1938, my mother, Ruth Nussbaum Raybach, got on th this ship. She was all by herself, and uh, but the gutsy lady she was, she got to the family in the Hyde Park neighborhood of Chicago and explained to the family that they needed to do a significant amount of paperwork so that they could prove that they could afford to have a family from Germany come to be with them. My mother said, I'm not leaving here until it's done so I can take it back. She took the papers and back to Germany and she turned uh, the paperwork in at the American consulate uh, in, uh, in, in Berlin. For the 9th of November the 9th, while we were waiting to go to the embassy the next day, there were flames in the synagogue across the street, which turned out to be Kristallnacht, the night of the broken glass. All Jewish men between the ages of 16 and 60 were picked up that night and arrested. They came for my father and he realized that he should not come home again. So at six o'clock every morning for several weeks, my mother got up, got on a train, rode the train for six hours to get back to Berlin, find my father where she had left him the day before, feed him the food that she had prepared the night before, get back on a train at six o'clock in the evening, get back to our home in Gotha at, at midnight, look in on me and get ready to go back on a train again the next morning at six o'clock to find my father again on December 15th. My mother, my father and I took the boat, the SS Manhattan, and we were safely in America after I had seen the Statue of Liberty, which I truly, truly, truly remember. I am so grateful for my mother Ruth for having had the fortitude to go through the things that she did in Germany and made it possible for a family like this to have become the result of my parents bringing me here and creating this wonderful family that now has children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren.